Managing Employee Productivity. That's the formal title, but you could simplify everything by calling it productivity tending. Like a garden which has to be watered and tended every day, your employee's productivity must be monitored every day as well. This program is designed to show you how easy this can be done. Let's take a look at what we mean. It's been said that a company is only as good as its supervisors, and basically that's true. A good supervisor is the link between employees and upper-level management. Without this, a company can become fragmented because it cannot communicate smoothly. After that, morale can suffer and employee productivity can fall. And once that happens, the entire operation can suffer. What's the solution? Well, the answer is good supervision by a good supervisor. That supervisor is someone who has excellent people skills. In addition to good people skills, a good supervisor has to have a few other qualities. A good supervisor is the link between employees and upper-level management. This is like being an ambassador of sorts, because a supervisor is the communications link between the two. For example, when management issues memos or company reports, it's the supervisor who generally reports these things downward to the employees. Similarly, when employees want to report their needs to upper-level management, it's the supervisor who generally communicates these concerns upward, even though most companies have an open-door policy. A good supervisor is a role model. Influence your employees by setting a good example. Always try to have a positive attitude about the company. Treat others with sincerity and respect and set high but realistic goals for performance and behavior. Project the right image. A good supervisor is a leader. Every team needs a leader, otherwise the team tends to run about in different directions without accomplishing much. The good team leader prevents this by setting goals, delegating tasks, and encouraging employee participation. A good supervisor is an evaluator. Supervisors are like roving reporters investigating things from right where they happen. Supervisors objectively evaluate the job performance of individual employees, of the team as a unit, and even their own performance. They also evaluate and remark upon things that the team needs to do in order to meet production goals. A good supervisor should also be flexible and fair, able to treat all employees equally, consistently and clearly. Now let's take a look at how you can put all these skills to work. Employee management may seem bewildering, but it really doesn't have to be. The most important thing to realize is that you've got to be persistent. Management is a day-to-day -day task because the people and the company you deal with may change every day. Here are the things you should take care of every day. Know your workplace policies. Now, this is important to both you and your company. Keep up to date on company rules and regulations, union contracts, personnel procedures, and federal and state laws regarding employment. You must also know your company's safety procedures. You'll be able to keep your employees better informed and also answer any questions that they may have. Coach employees. Now, this is part of your day-to-day -day employee tending. Coaching means making sure everyone has both the skills and resources to do their jobs properly. For example, if your employees are presented with a new task, it's up to you to teach them the task, make sure they have the equipment and resources necessary to do it, and then step back and observe. Be sure to build team spirit, praise, and encourage employees. And Keep setting new goals for the team. Observe and document employee performances. Part of your day-to-day -day supervision includes employee observation. Take a look at how your employees perform every day. Make sure you document these observations and continue to observe. This provides an objective written record of the employee's strengths, 
and weaknesses. Troubleshoot. Make sure to try to identify potential problems and then take whatever action is necessary to solve them before they become too overwhelming. Now, this may mean pitching in to help temporarily or managing shift changes or new company quotas. But remember, you're part of the team too. And communicate. We cannot overemphasize the importance of communication you must be able to communicate well with your team. Explain what the goals are, what conditions have to be met, and explain deadlines. Communicate schedules, such as uh, review periods and vacation times. Always let your employees know what's expected, how they will be evaluated, and specifically when this will occur. Good communications helps ensure smoother operations. These are the everyday tasks required of a good supervisor. By taking the time to do these things, the supervisor can monitor for any potential problems or patterns. But what happens if you find a problem or you need to confront an employee about poor performance? Well, first, be sure to follow your company's procedures. But here are some general guidelines as to the steps you should take. First, give the employee a verbal warning. Let them know what the discrepancy is, and then ask if the employee is aware of this. Keep the discussion informal and private, and try to explore all the possible solutions. Clearly explain the performance expectations, and supply detailed records of the employee's substandard performance. Then, issue a written warning. If the employee's performance doesn't improve, you should give the employee another verbal warning. At the same time, a written document stating the necessary improvements should go to the employee and the employee's file. Next, hold a formal meeting. If there's still no improvement with the employee, you should hold a formal meeting and keep a record of it on file. Give the employee an opportunity to respond and then discuss what is expected of them and what will happen if changes are not made. And finally, take disciplinary action. If the problems are not remedied, it's time to consult company policies regarding disciplinary action. The employee may be either suspended, demoted, or terminated. But whatever happens, they should always be treated with respect and honesty. Sometimes it's not necessary to go so far as to suspend or terminate an employee. Sometimes a supervisor can direct an employee to reevaluate their behavior before it's too late. Remember to recommend any other resources that your company may provide. Sometimes an employee who's performing poorly simply needs additional training. Use whatever resources are available to you to get the proper training. Remember, you don't want to lose a valued employee, but it's important to turn poor performance around. As a supervisor, your job is not to diagnose an employee's problems, but to observe when performance levels drop. Observe, document your findings, and communicate these things to both the employee and those that can assist them you may be the crucial element in turning a troubled employee back into a safe and productive worker. Okay, so what's the most important point to remember about managing employee productivity? Well, just remember that it's not that difficult if you do it every day. Like a good gardener, you've got to work in your garden every day. Tend to your employee's needs. Guide them, encourage them, and give them credit when it's due. Observe things daily and help turn performance around when necessary. Don't forget that you're part of a team and that you can help your company thrive and prosper. When you do your job well, everyone benefits because then both the company and the employees grow together. <laughs>